Maximum, so we will see what happens. And here we go, game is starting. Yemen Hardpoint is the map and the game mode. We will see what work they do. And let's get this series started. This is, of course, Losers Bracket Round 10. And let's get the game started. How many times am I going to call P2 PT? I have no idea, but I can see it's going to happen. But it doesn't matter. We're heading on to uh, Yemen Hardpoint, which, as we said, this first Hardpoint as ever is going to be a mess. Because, of course, both teams are an equidistant away from that half point, so they're going to be rushing at exactly the same time. And we're going to see some really, really good gameplay, I think. It's going to be fantastic. And I've never seen these two teams play, so it's going to no. be really, really fun to uh, kind of see what they're good at, see what they're not good at. And, uh, Chewie, I think, uh, I think uh, let's do this. Yep, let's do this indeed. Now, this is, this is where my casting background pretty much comes from, because I remember in my early casting days back in March or so, I never used to even know which teams were joining the game and who I was casting over until they literally did join the lobby. So this is going back to my roots almost from my last series on Black Ops 2 at land, but here we go, on board with Galaxy. He's the first, first person on my screen, and let's see what work he can do. Move, using this assault rifle, of course, the MA, a very strong choice, but already we do see Exilo managing to get a strong start. They've got nine points on the board. As soon as I say that, Epico does get taken out, and this first one is always so scrappy, but have a look at the spawn that Epico has just got there. Yeah, not a particularly great spawn for Epico. Spawning very, very far away indeed. He's going to want to go around the outside and try and get the good spawn. But he's going to take. He's going to take. Oh, oh great ouch. turn on out shot there straight away. Jumping in and he's going to get the kill again. Oh. No, that would have been a lovely kill. That would have been almost film, uh, filmatic, cinematic is the word I think I'm looking yes. for there. Cinematic jumping kill as uh, what is a Jacko gets a kill straight yep. away. Gets taken out unfortunately. Now they're going to be wanting to think about that rotation. So what are we going to see here? Yeah, well we need to see them try and get, regain top map control, that mid-map control. So let's have a look at that. At the top there, you do see those green arrows, which is going to be Exilo. They have got the top control. They have got that statue control, which plays so much into this hill. But of course, you do see Insidia with the bottom at the minute, and they need to get control of it. Jacko on your screen at the second. He's earned himself that health stone missile and that lightning strike, which could come big. He needs to take out this player here. Not oh. going to happen, though. Sammy turns on him. Sammy going big. As soon as I say that, Sammy does get taken out. So we'll have a look at where Sammy has spawned. He's spawned in a perfect position up towards top market. Um, and there we go. Let's see what work he can do. He does get taken out, unfortunately himself so P2's going to be the last one left alive in this hill and look at those scores already Exilo managing to pull away. Exilo obviously uh, maybe the slightly stronger side and Cydia you said were the ones uh, that are the PS3 players only recently switched over to Xbox, obviously knowing that the Xbox is a competitive scene. I know that, uh, that, that uh, Microsoft are pu pushing for that Xbox One to be uh, used a lot. I mean, I, we, we always hear about it when we always read about it. So anyway, it doesn't matter. We're, gonna, we're still on board with P2 right now as he is sitting in that hard point waiting to get those capture points. He's obviously going to be doing some, uh, a little bit of OBJ work, just sitting there, chilling out, waiting for the rest of his team to kind of set up. And they actually are setting up quite well. If you have a look at that little mini map in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, you can see they are setting up quite nicely, but it doesn't matter because somebody had streaks and it was Jacko who actually oh, managed to take out two. That spawn though, have a look at that oh, spawn that Peter just depressing. got. He just spawned right down at the bottom. They did get the early rotation down there, but unfortunately it didn't pay dividend for them at all as now we do see Jacko in the hard point. So he's going to call in his Hellstone missile straight away. He's going to get taken out though. Bit of a mistake maybe to use that. He does pick up two. That was Sammy and Dreamer who go down, but Jacko gets taken out. His team are going to try and take over control. Oh with only 35 seconds left. They need to try and push down to the next one as Epico gets a massive two-piece there with that uh, car kill actually I believe it got I'm not sure if that was deliberate but these teams are right right into the action right now so close between them 48 to 57 look at, look at that rotation though uh, uh, Exilo I'm going to keep saying that Exilo. wrong Exilo Exilo it doesn't matter which uh, the this team the one that has rotated early have got such a great setup right now Look where they all are. He's being so sneaky right there. He knows that someone's going to be coming through this uh, section of the map and sees him. Unfortunately, he does get taken out. Encidia Cooper, I believe that was, taking that guy out. I didn't even know how he knew he was there. That was some excellent play. Just great awareness it was, but on board with Epico once again off the respawn. We'll see what work he can do. His team have got control of the hard point. Unfortunately, he gets taken out. I've got to switch on board with Lewis, though, because he's incredibly close to score streaks. So close to that health zone missile. The hard point is contested. He's not going to earn them, though. Unfortunately, he gets taken out, so Lewis not happy about that, but they have got control of the hill. As soon as I say that, no, they don't. Two of Exilo pushing there, and this is such an important hill, because if you can push in here and get the full 60 seconds, you can really pull away with it. But so far, Exilo have got control of it so far. They haven't got control of the score overall. Look at this. This is just back and forth. I can't believe this hardpoint is getting oh. broken so much. Insidia Lewis pushing so in. So close though. to He's his got streaks. Control of it. Once again, yes. That must be what seventy-five points away from the streaks, fifty points. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but it doesn't matter because he's going to stay on there, get the rest of those hard point points as the Insidia team rotate around to that 
final half point. Uh, but it looks to me like Xylo managed to just about get there first, and it, he knows that they're, they're there, but he's not quite sure what he's going to be doing here. I mean, he needs to push up. They need, and Cydia need to push up here. Well, no, they've got they've got top control. This is what they want. This is what they're aiming for. They've got the top spawns, which is exactly what they wanted. As soon as I do say that, Galaxy does spawn out, which is unfortunate because they had the top control. So they did get a good work there. Oh, two Jacko piece. managed to pick up a two piece. Oh! Make it a third. Yes, he does indeed. Jacko going big with the three piece. He needs to take. Oh it. my Jacko God! Takes, takes up the entire team. He doesn't need the support of his teammates. Jacko can just do it on his own. What a time to jump on board with this guy. As he makes an absolutely massive play. Insidia Jacko oh! again with another kill on a five score seat right now, earning himself that health missile and that lightning strike. He's getting his team pumped, and that's exactly what he needs. Unfortunately, he does get taken out. Lewis though on a four score streak. He has earned himself that health on that lightning, and there we go. Wow, that was a mouthful to say. Yes, Gosh. those were the those are the big plays that we definitely want to be seeing, and he has got that all important war machine, which will help him in the inner hard points, and of course, don't forget those hellstorm missile and lightning strike, which will help him on the next hard point, which is very very open indeed. I expect again a very very big kind of cluster of back and forth in the next hard point, but it's going to make it a lot easier uh, with Encidia with two people with streaks. So that's three, three people. Who else has streaks? Three people have streaks. Galaxy is on your stream right now. We saw Jacko with streaks. There we go. He has that lightning strike and that hellstorm missile. Right, Cooper's Cooper down close. to Lewis. Lewis has got full streaks. Cooper has nothing, but Galaxy did just get taken out. Had a lightning strike and a Hellstorm missile. So absolutely stacked out on streaks right now are the Insidious squad. They are definitely impressing, and they are starting to pull away with the game. Unfortunately, does get taken out there, Galaxy, but the score is 146 to 98. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, see what's going on. 22 to 14 there for Galaxy already with six defense, and Lewis is going 15 and eight. That's incredible play. That is incredible play indeed. Who was at the bottom of the score there? I didn't quite manage to see it there. So it's uh, Cooper going 10 and 15, 10 and 16 now. Uh, obviously, he's not. Obviously, he might be playing that OBJ matter. work, yeah, so yeah, it doesn't yeah. really matter. The other guys are going to do the killing, and he's going to play the objective work. I'm imagining that's what's going on right now. But those score streaks, they still, they haven't really needed to use them yet. Yep, indeed, they've not needed to use them, but there we go. As soon as we do say that, Galaxy <laughs> decided to call in that lightning strike, so he obviously heard us and did decide to call that in. He's going to be able to pick up that person there towards Church. No, he's not. Gets a lightning strike kill, but only one of them on P2. And there we go, the hard point has rotated over. You do see the green arrows of Exilo with two members in the hard point zone. So let's switch on board with Dreamer. We haven't seen anything of him yet. He's going to be the one having to deflate all of the action. Gets a lot of hit markers into him, so he's got to make sure that he doesn't go down. Somebody's going to challenge him, though, from the scaffold. No, they're not. They're going to push forward. Yes, they are indeed. Picks him up. That's a lightning strike and a hellstorm missile earned for Dreamer. He unfortunately does get taken out as Jacko goes massive with another two piece to break the hill. This guy with his SMG is just phenomenal. He is, honestly. We saw that, that five, well, not five piece, but you know, that four piece and then followed by that single five earlier, managing to get him all his scores. Oh! oh! Sit down, Dreamer. Jacko is not having him getting into that half point. This is my half point as he picks up another kill. Yep, he does indeed on a six score streak. He's managed to overlap his streak, so we don't, I don't think he even called in that Hellstorm no, missile. No, he didn't. Or that lightning strike, but he's, he's got to call in the Hellstorm again. missile now. Let's see if he's going to be able to get anybody. He does get on one who was on the rotation, and that is such an important part of hard play. It's sometimes something that is really kind of neglected. Those hard point rotation kills are so important when you're moving from one hill to the next. But there we go. He does spot somebody down there. It looks like he's, he called in the ping, but he is going to call in his lightning strike now. And let's see what the rotation is going to. Hellstorm missile going to come in as well, and Insidia just all over the scoreboard right now. Jacko on an eight score streak. Staying on Oh. Him. Does pick up the turn on there on Dreamer with his war machine. Picks up another one in Sammy. That was unfortunately does get taken out eventually, but Lewis is in control of the hill. He's got full streaks. It seems to me that Insidia just stacked up. Dreamer just destroyed everything. <laughs> he did, uh, he did. There is nothing else to say than. Uh, streaks are just flying left, right, and center. We, there's no, nobody's even in the hard point right now. How often do you see this a hard point get? There we go. Finally, someone's jumped in the hard point. It's about time. As they are, uh, Lewis is attacking this hard point. Does get taken out by Epico, unfortunately, and the entire XR team getting kills there. So there's nobody really from the uh, Encidia team left. So they must be starting their rotation at some point soon. Yes, they are indeed. That was a big use of the lightning strike there, and a very, very clever one, because although he only took out one player, what he did is he forced Epico to go, no, I'm not going to go and get that scrap time and get the last 20 seconds on there. I'm just going to rotate, because that's all he could do. So that meant that they didn't get any more time on there. So that was a clever use of streaks there from the Insidia player. Not quite sure who that was, but again, once again, what's on board with Dreamer as he does pick up his first kill there. In the half point, does pick up two. Great decision to jump on board with Dreamer as he's already picked up two kills in this half point, and this is the most important hill in the entire map, in my opinion. If the guys from Exilo can hold this down, for the full 60 seconds, they will be right back into this game and they will just about take the lead. So still on board with Dreamer. Let's see what he can do. This is this game has swapped back and forth so uh, so far as Dreamer is going to get... Oh, is he going to get the kill? No, he doesn't. Oh my god, he does get the kill on that. That's what turn on there. But Galaxy takes him out from outside the hard point. Zelo though, still in the hard point, racking up that score. They're getting ever so much closer as War Machines just come flying in right there. Who's that from? That was from Lewis. 
Good use of the war machine, but unfortunately there is still one person in there now. They need to start thinking about the rotation again, yep. uh, which they actually are doing right now. You can see Encidia, none of them are bothering with that. They say, have those 20 seconds, have those 15 seconds. It doesn't matter. We're going to rotate. We're going to get the top hill. Yep, that was such an important play there on that. Oh, look at that oh spawn my god, that spawn is depressing. But that's just because they've got control of the last hill. But this was such a big hill for Exilo there. They were down by a good 40 points, if not more. And then they managed to hold down that church hill for the full 60 seconds. And as I said, that was going to play big for them if they could do that. But Galaxy was on a full score, score streak. Sorry, he does get taken out. So Jacko, I'm going to switch on board with him. He's the only player in the hill right now. So let's see what his defensive work is like now. Because it's going to come down to the last hill. We've got 29 seconds left on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Hard point is contested. Only about six seconds Five seconds in between these two teams. Who's going to take it, Dave? It's going to be a close one. I'm not really sure who's going to take it right now. I mean, it is so close. Well, who can call it? Who is in the half point round? It's Zelo in the half point right now. They managed to equal the score with 15 seconds left. It is contested. It is going to stay contested at 209. Somebody oh has to make gosh. a play something here. And five score streak for Lewis. He's got absolutely massive. Are they going to be able to take it? He's just got a huge right when he needed to. Hardpoint is contested with it's three yes. seconds left. It is over. Insidia just about to go massive. Oh. Just at the end, Jacko gets a three piece. 280 to 209. They are standing up. They are pumped after that. That was such a good hole. That was absolutely insane. And it came down to the wire. I mean, seriously, how down to the wire? 209 contested with 10 seconds left to go. That three piece is amazing. 10 seconds left to go, both Ooh. teams, oh my, 40 bomb from Jacko, and well deserved indeed, he did get that amazing gameplay earlier, which we went so crazy about, but I cannot believe that Exile managed, Exilo, sorry, managed to get back into that game, because they were so far behind. Well, that Churchill, you know, this is what we talked about, and this is what I mentioned, that Churchill just absolutely changes everything with Yemen, it really does, it changes so much, and you know, especially when you're, you're, you're slightly far behind, and there's only about uh, 40 seconds in between you two, if you can... Put, put, put down that full 60 seconds on church. You're going to be right back into the game. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for Exilo. They did lose that map, and that means that Insidia have taken a 1-0 lead, but 